Hey guys, it's Oaks83 here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make Tool ESP. Basically, it's what the character is holding in their hand. Um, one simple way of finding out what tool they're using is in your character, which um, your character is the player in the game. Um, you're going to find your character mostly in the workspace. Well, that's where it is. Uh, you've, here's my character, right? Um, when I pull out any item that's like here on the bottom of my, G on my UI, on my screen, I meant, you can tell that there are tools being applied into my character. These are the tools that we're going to get and then um, make an ESP out of it. But before we even get into the video, I want to show you how to get the source of the script of today's video. Skip ahead if you're going to be following along. So once you guys click the link in the description right now where you guys want to download the script but for this I'm just gonna be using one of my old links and de demonstrating and using as an example but once you're here it's gonna look exactly like this all you're gonna do is press free access with ads and you're gonna do as what it says I have an ad blocker so I wanna go turn that off right now and what you're gonna do is pause on all sites and I'm literally just gonna reset or reset my uh, thing the browser and we're gonna come into here what we're gonna do is wait for these five seconds to go by you can look around here check anything else that interests you at all um and then you're gonna come here and then you're gonna click an article or a topic or whatever you want and you come here whatever you want but once you can come out of that and then you can continue to your script and it should bring you to whatever you want or it should pop up as a uh, code that comes on the screen or it's like a download but yeah this is how you do it alright I'm gonna be going for a simple simple way of how to make this we're gonna use the same template that we always use for the ESP pretty simple so first we're gonna get the camera of course let me just write that down current camera for the camera that we will be using PS for players this is how I name it because of why not players, I spelled players wrong I'm gonna get my local player, I do ps.local player gets my local player from players and then local rs for run service to make a loop, you know when we have a when the, when the ESP is running, it's rendering, you want it to keep rendering there it is, okay now we're gonna have a function here which is like find tool, so F tool. Uh, we're gonna edit that later. But now we're just gonna focus on getting players as well. We're gonna connect. We're gonna make another function here. Let's make it named P added for player added into the game. P for the player. And all right, now we can actually get into it. So for A B or for I V. Um, index value, but I do a b because why not? Next, and then we're gonna get the players, and then we do get players like that. Now we're gonna remove ourselves from um, the value, so we're gonna do b. Do not include us from uh, the players. So now we're gonna do p added and then put B in it because that's our that's the players that we want to get right now we're gonna create a function or a connection or whatever and we're gonna do if a player has been added right we want to do oh no we don't write function in there because we're gonna replace it with P added so player so the players that like a player that's been added right it's gonna go. It's gonna go into this function right here, which already uses p. So this is done right here. And by the way, if there's are if there are any errors, I will go through that by the end of the video, so I can fix it up and you can follow along. So now, once you're in this function, both of these things come into here. So we're gonna do p character, right? So it's checking if it already has a character. If it does, we're gonna we're gonna make another local function here which is called ESP P and then CR for character 
All right. So if it already has a character, we're going to call ESP and then put P in it and then P dot character. And now we're going to make a connection where it gets if there's a if there's already been a no, if it, there's a character that's being added, right? So we want to do this. So if 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 the character has been added from that player, we want it to also call that function, which is CR right here. This is the available character that's been added. And we want it to end it like that. Alright. Let me make sure I did that right. Yeah, okay. Now we're in the ESP function here. So I'm just gonna call this for humanoid H CR wait for child, which is waiting for the humanoid. I'm gonna call this HRP for humanoid root part. Wait for child humanoid root part. Alright, now we're gonna make a drawing that we want to render. We're gonna call this text. By the way, that is from um, snaps. We're gonna make the visibility false. We don't want it to show already. We're gonna make the sensor true because why not? This is all of your opinion if you want to keep it this on or not. Your preferences. Your color. I'm gonna just do it. Color dot. Wait, is it? Co yeah, color three. I'm gonna do dot new just so I can make white simple. Um, sex. I mean, what the fuck? I meant text. Text font two. Text size. Um, let's do thirteen. All right. Yeah. By the way, this is all your preferences right here, from center to size. Like you can do whatever you want. Um, I'm going to make three connections here. Alright, and I'm going to explain why we're going to make three connections. So first of all, we're going to make a disconnection function where it disconnects all the uh, connections if the player has died or whatever. Just when it dies, we want it we just want everything to disconnect and the player not I mean the ESP to not be there right so first of all we're gonna actually make the ESP so we're gonna do RS for um actually let's use heartbeat like why not like <laughs> I saw heartbeat so I was like okay why not um I'm not sure if it makes a difference please let me know if it does uh, HRP position with on screen and then we make it equal camera wait for child wait no what the fuck world to view port point and we're gonna do we're gonna use our humanoid root part and then call the position right here so again world to view port point converts the position which is already a 3D object and it converts it to our viewport which is um, the size of our monitor or the resolution that you're using converts it to 2D on your screen so this will be the position this is if it's on screen or not now we're gonna do if HRP is on screen then we're gonna do text position equals the vector 2 which is 2d new and then hrp position dot x hrp position dot y now we're going to do text here and then we're going to come back to this because that's the end of the part and then we're going to make this text visible And then else, so if it's not on screen, we want it to equal false. We don't want it to show, right? All right, actually, let's just do this now, the text of your tool. So here, this is where it all happens in the finding tool. So what we want to do is we want to find a item that's in your um, K 
character, which is a tool. And that's what it mostly is. I don't know for other games, it might be like a model or whatever, but mostly and simply, it would be a tool. So we're going to get all the children from the character and we're going to specify that there's a tool in our character and we're going to use that. So we're going to do CR. Oh, by the way, I meant to put CR here for character because we need the character here. So let's do this right here. Let's do two string because we don't know if the name would ever be a number or whatever. So we do two string and then we would call that thing. We call the function and then we do CR, which is this. So CR get children do. Once we do do, we got to do if b that class name is tool is a tool right then we would return the uh what's it called to string and b name like that it's simple and and then end now if if this doesn't work if there's no tool we want it to return nothing right you can name this whatever you can call it hands um nothing or empty like there's nothing in their hands so i'm gonna call it empty for now so once we have that done i'm pretty sure we could get into the uh when the player dies and is connecting now let me just make sure i got this all correct okay okay now connection two this is pretty simple I've explained this many times what the ancestry change does. Basically, if the player has died or left the game, um, it does it more simple. And if somebody leaves, it literally just does this. And what's it called? Um, if you don't have this, uh, the ESP would still the the ESP will still be there because if you only have uh, where it's only checking health, it's really not gonna find like, it, like it's really not gonna like disconnect because the player has left without it dying, you know. So this is one way of doing that. DC for disconnect. I'll do DC right after this, and then connection three. We want it to. Uh, check the health so H again is for humanoid and we're checking the humanoid health so we're doing humanoid dot health dot like health changed connection function and we want to use V for value or whatever you want uh, so if the value of, like of the health is less than or equal to zero or humanoid get state equals a num humanoid state type dot dead then we want it to disconnect like that so this is like a win-win situation here from uh, if the value has like equal zero or is less than zero or if it's just it just died out of nowhere but I'm pretty sure this would also call it as well um, but yeah pretty sure it still works like this so let's just get into this connection so when when we call it right we want it to be false I'm pretty sure it would still like remove it without being like let's just be for real here like, I'm just doing it for now, if C3, right, like if this, if it's not nil or whatever, then we want it to call C1. I'm just do it one by one. Disconnect. Let's just copy and paste. Why not? Two, and then we replaced this two and this with three. And now we're gonna do C1 equals nil, C2 equals nil, 
and c3 equals nil and n we have finished the ESP I'm pretty sure I will go check it out now alright as you can tell this has worked as we see on their body we can tell that they're using a shotgun or right here they're also using a shotgun here all these other people are using shotguns I don't know why yeah this person's using an AR the text looks very small so if you want to do anything to the text like add boundaries around it or change the color so you can see it better I don't know if you guys will be using this text for an for a box or whatever but do that I'm literally just making ESP name or tool ESP so I'm not really adding it to a box I could but yeah um actually let me add boundaries if you guys don't know how to add boundaries let me let me get, let me make you guys boundaries real quick so if you guys don't know how to make boundaries what you guys want to do is add another thing like this you want to add dot dot a little space here add dot dot this 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 so this is just um adding the bracket and then spacing it and then adding the word here and then space and then the bracket so we add this now as you can tell there are now boundaries around the people uh, you can tell that they're using now he's using a sniper he's using nothing because he's empty handed he's empty handed empty empty but yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video uh, I'll be out now see you guys in another video peace out